Hi, it's Leo from Nautical. Today I'm going to be talking to you about marine air conditioning and in specific the chill water system. So in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about what marine chill water system is, how a marine chiller works in cooling mode, how you know if it's relevant to your boat, the components that make up a chill water system and where you can find out more information. So what is a marine chill water system and how does it work? So a marine chill water system uses a chiller or multiple chillers depending on the capacity to cool or heat a fresh water loop that is pumped around the boat via a circulation pump. This fresh water loop will then reach the individual air handlers in each cabin that will then condition the air to the desired temperature. So I'll now talk to you about how a marine chiller works in cooling mode. Marine chillers are typically seawater cooled units that use an internal refrigeration cycle to chill a freshwater loop through a simple heat exchange. And I'll run through the main components and explain their purpose. So you have a compressor, condensing coils, heat exchanger, expansion valve and reversing valve. So the compressor is one of the main components of the refrigeration cycle and therefore a main component of a chiller. It's used to compress refrigerant that's then passed onto the condensing coils. On older chiller models these compressors are usually run at on off. However with the introduction of variable speed drives or variable frequency drives we can alter the compressor speed which will vary the capacity of cooling or heating. The condensing coil is simply used to cool the refrigerant passed from the compressor. Marine chillers utilise their constant supply of seawater as a cooling method. The seawater will enter the external coil and the refrigerant is passed through the internal coil and through a simple heat exchange the refrigerant is cooled. So the heat exchanger or evaporator is the component in a chiller that allows for the transfer of heat between refrigerant and fresh water. Both substances will enter the heat exchanger but not come in direct contact as they are divided by plates. However these plates still allow for the transfer of heat from the fresh water loop into the refrigerant which will subsequently cool the fresh water. The expansion valve is the device in the refrigeration cycle that allows for the expansion of refrigerant. This will then allow for the cooling effects that you feel from air conditioning and refrigeration. These are typically electronically controlled now and will receive control signals to regulate the refrigerant expansion. Finally you have the reversing valve. This is the component in a chiller that will direct the flow of refrigerant when switching between cooling and heating mode. These are typically controlled by solenoid valves now and will receive control signals from the control board to switch between cooling and heating. So I'm now going to talk to you about some of the key points and the benefits of the chill water system so you can gauge an idea of its relevance to your boat. The chill water system is usually installed on boats over 50 foot with many cabins and rooms to provide cooling and heating to. It's also a requirement to have a space such as an engine room to locate the chiller plant in to reduce impactful noise. Also, just to note, they are typically the more expensive system, however they have their benefits and flexibility over other systems. Unit quantity limitations. With a chill water system, you aren't limited to the amount of air handlers you can run off the chiller plant. So long as the total capacity of the air handlers is within line with the capacity of the chillers. This is unlike the direct expansion systems, where you are limited to the amount of air handlers you can have off the system. Low level noise. This may sound like a contradiction because chillers are notoriously loud, however if you tuck the chillers away in the engine room then the impactful noise is greatly reduced. The only noise you will hear is the air handler's fan which is located in the cabin, but this is still much less than the noise you would get from systems such as self-contained units. Individual cabin controls. On a chill board system you can have individual displays for each cabin so you can control the air conditioning to your desired temperature without affecting the other rooms. Redundancy. This is only applicable for multiple chillers. 
but essentially, if a chiller fails, then the rest will continue to work, and will continue to work to the capacity that they hold. Loading and power management advantages. The chiller's capacity will typically be sized at around 80% of the air handler's total capacity. Therefore, the overall amperage pool will be significantly less compared to other systems. So finally, I'm going to quickly run through the main components of the chill water system. Here you have the through hole assembly. This is used for filtration and isolation of the seawater. So next you have the seawater pump and circulation pump. Also the chiller or chillers which include controls and a central fill point. Also the air handler used to condition the air with a control box. Next you have the ducting. This is used to pass the air through. The transition box. This is used to connect the ducting to the grill. Then you have the supply and return air grills along with the display used to control the air conditioning. So where you can find out more. At Nautical we provide top quality air conditioning solutions tailored to your boat's requirements. We can design, quote, install and service chill water systems. So please get in contact if you require any more technical information or are looking to purchase any of the chill water system components.